Hey guys, so I was staring into my fish's tank the other day, as I do for three to four hours per day. And I was looking at him. It reminded me of those memes, you know, it's like, this is what my fish sees when I'm looking at them. And his scales have got so beautiful. And I looked it up and that means he's happier and healthier. So go me. I kept something alive longer than a houseplant. I don't know how it's happening. Let's not jinx it. Touch wood. Touch. Someone touch wood. This plant's feeling awfully neglected right now. And then I was looking at my YouTube and all these beauty tutorial videos were popping up. And I thought, you know what? If Norman's scales were an eye makeup, I would totally wear it. Not that I want to peel the scales off my fish. I mean, if I inspired <laughs> my makeup based on my fish. So I thought, why not give it a go? These beauty YouTubers, be YouTubers uh, taking over. So I want a piece of the action. I'm going to do a Norman inspired eye makeup tutorial. That was a mouthful to say. So I went out and bought the cheapest <laughs> and most blue eye makeup I could find. Firstly, I got this heart-shaped eye shadow. Is it a shadow? Yeah, glitter eyeshadow, which has got... Oop, what was that? Protection. I thought these tones would be quite good because he's all of the blues and the greens. So that's a bit of bang for my book. Then I got... This was the most expensive thing. It's a Max Factor X eye shadow again. Color shadow. Yeah, I think it's the same thing. I got this one online and I was worried because it was called Orchid Nudes and I thought I'd order the wrong thing, but it's got a blue in it. How is that a nude? Like a nude avatar person or a smurf. Uh, <laughs> then I got myself some glitter eyeliner. Look at all this. We do a full clown face. Um, gonna be using this blue eyeliner. I think you go along the line of your eye. I should probably know that if I'm putting things in my eyeball, but whatever. Then I got these paint brushes for your face. Lamora blending brush set, so I can do a bit of blending action. This, what is this? Um, volumizing mascara. This was a good find. This was in the shop and it's blue. Look at that. I might just do this all the time. So you put that on your eyelashes. Yeah, mascara on the eyelashes. Don't know why I'm asking you is if you're gonna be like, yes, that's what the comments are gonna be saying. <laughs> no, you put it on your teeth. And then I got, what's this one? Ooh, liquid eyeshadow. I'm a bit nervous about this one because it's liquid, but the color was a good one. Diamond light blue. I mean, that sounds perfect for Norm scales. I've also got this face glitter from my Spacey Merch shoe, and I've got some blue contact lenses, which I'm a bit scared of, so I might not do it, but we'll see what happens. What we're gonna do, <laughs> this is my idea. My idea. Uh, oh, this is gonna be Norman's eye, my eye, and then I could build a Norman fish going across my nose and then the tail could be over my other eye. Is it a bit much? I mean, it's a look. It's not an everyday look. We'll say this is a fancy fish event look. Yeah? I've set up this giant mirror here, so I've got no excuses if anything goes wrong. So I think I'm gonna start with an outline with a black eyeshadow. So the arch of my eyebrow is gonna be his head, if that makes sense. And then his lips are gonna be here, and then his body's gonna be like here. Let's just do it. Okay, this <laughs> this eyeshadow is a lot harder to draw with than I thought it would be. Norman's lips are gonna be like that. Norman's got very sassy lips, so you need to make sure that's represented around your eye as I've done there, like he's duck facing on an Instagram, like. Now I've got one of my small paintbrushes and we're slowly gonna layer the glitter around the eye area. That's not doing anything like this. Ooh, that looks good. That's a very Norman shade. It's not really spreading very well. I thought it'd be more spready. You just have to do loads of brushes. Are you meant to wet it? Okay, well I'll do a bit of this and then a little bit of the teal as well. It may look a bit messy now, but it's gonna come together. I'd say this is actually my favorite color, the one I'm just doing into my eye bag now. So you wanna blend the dark blue and the lighter blue around your eye. And that represents the true gloriousness of his scales. So we've lost a bit of definition on the sassy lips. So I'm gonna add it back in with this Glit black glitter. But it's really, really, it's just really breaking apart. I thought I'd be able to draw with this so much better. Come on. Interesting fact about Norman is he's such an introvert. He can't be with any other fish because he would just fight them to the death. So I <laughs> totally relate. Right, I'm using some of the liquid eyeliner to do a base, a base for the fins that hang down here like this. And then we'll go over it with the darker color. This looks really bad. <laughs> It looked so good in my head. Honestly, what I was imagining looked amazing and it's just not, it's not working. Wait, 
I'm not going to get upset yet. Okay, so enhancing some of the scales going down into this area. So you've got a fin going down your nose. And then as you come towards this eye, just follow the crease of the eye. <laughs> I'm trying to pretend I know what I'm talking about. Guys, I'm panicking because it looks so bad, but shh. It's fine, it's fine. This is going to be the majority of his tail, so just do lots of flourishes upwards to get the feeling of movement and fishiness. I'm so obsessed with this fish, I've been having anxiety dreams that he jumps out of the tank, but when he jumps out of the tank, he's the size of like a cat or a dog, and he's just like going, bro, get me back in the tank, Phil. But I can't fit him back in the tank, so I'm physically trying to press him into this small tank, and he's like, I'm too big. Oh yeah, he talks in my dream as well. So... I'm fully attached to this fish. I'll be devastated if anything happens. So you want to just keep blending the blueness around. This is the butthole of, <laughs> of the fish around here. So you want it to kind of come to a point. Let's do a bit of max factor. Oh, this is a good shade. So you want to get your deeper blue and just do the impressions of a tail splaying out across your other eye. It was like a smurf exploded on my face. I'm going to try the volumizing mascara. I'm kind of terrified by this, but I think it's gonna add to the look. Do you poke it or do you drag it? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drag. All right, that feels right, I'm brushing it. I'm brushing it like a small cat. Ow! Oh, I fully got myself in the eye. Well, it looks good though. If you're doing this and you feel like you're messing it up, just remember that any fin is possible. <laughs> Don't trout yourself. <laughs> Everyone just... <laughs> Everyone just unsubscribed. This looks so much better in my head. Honestly, I thought this would be beautiful. We'd have scales. You can't draw with eyeshadow. I feel like I should have had some lip liner or something. Is lip liner a thing? Just to do some more intricacies. Um, maybe I could get a pen. Should I just get a Sharpie in and do what I would have done? Okay, I've got a Sharpie. <laughs> We're going to imagine this is some kind of black liquid eyeliner maybe? Something you can draw with because my stuff was not working. So we're gonna use this to just add the details to the edges and also some scales. If someone ever asks me what my job is, I'm just gonna send them this video. <laughs> the moment I get the Sharpie out. Uh, <laughs> let's see if they talk to me again. Right, let's just add some scaly boys in and see how we get on. His tail doesn't really have scales. It's more just got flourishing lines. I'm making it work. <laughs> I always think I'm so artistic and then I start trying and it just goes to hell. And then draw, draw his ears. Does he have ears? What's, what's a fish have? Gill flaps. This is a gill flap here. Guys, I'm starting to think this looks okay and I think I might be in denial. Just let me know. Now it's time for some face glitter. They call it face glitter. I think it's just glitter. I mean, let's be real. You get some glue, which you should put on your face. Face. I'm gonna use it to just pick out certain scales and make them look amazing. So glue your face. You could use some Pritt stick if you don't have any face glue. I'm sure it'd be fine. I'm gonna do a bit of silver and some dabs. Oh, I got some <laughs> got some more in my eye. Ow! Okay, I got it, I got it. Yes. Guys, I should never have doubted myself. This is becoming my vision. And then blue should be the main amount of face glitter or flitter as they say in the beauty community. Should I be having some kind of beauty drama while I do this? Wow, that Anthony Padilla is such a f You think those curls in his hair and abs are real? No, they're just glued on. Oh, what am I doing? I was focusing on the drama, I started putting glitter in the <laughs> top of my forehead. No, stop, there's no scales there. You might want to put a towel down on the floor. <laughs> Because I'm just going to show my crotch. I've probably got one of the glitteriest crotches on earth at this very moment. I mean, I don't want to do a poll because who knows what people are up to. I'm getting newfound respect for anyone that does actual good makeup because this was hard. I was like, oh, it's going to be easy to draw a fish on my face. No, it's a mess. The, the lines don't work properly. I had to get a Sharpie out. Do you think in a different universe there's a fish trying to make my face on their scaly face? No? Okay. All right, the last thing is the contact lens, which I'm terrified about, but I'm gonna do it for my art. So let's go to the bathroom. Okay, I've washed my hands. I've probably got one chance to get this into my eyeball before I fill my eye with glitter. If you do this, I would put the contact lens in first. <laughs> this is gonna be a challenge. Right, is there any glitter on that at all? I don't think so. All right, here we go. It's in. Ooh, Ooh. that looks pretty cool, actually. Ow. Oh, this one is not as comfortable. Okay, Ooh, there we go. 
Oh, that's so weird. Also, I can't see anything now because they're not prescription. And the look is complete. What do you think? I'm going to be honest. I'm going to give myself three stars out of five. I tried. The effort's there. We've got glitter. We've got mixed media. I did use a bit of Sharpie, which was cheating. So when you go to your fish party or whenever you showcase this look, the catwalk, you will want to walk around with one eye closed the whole time. <laughs> then it'll like the fish has got its eye open and you don't have a weird eye in your tail. So I can't actually wink very well. That's my best wink I can do. But if you can wink, it's going to look pretty awesome, let's be honest. Could I like Photoshop out the rest of my face just to see what it would look like? Blob, blob, blob. I am a fish. Could I be a beauty guru? I enjoyed myself. I got to apply lots of powders and various things. Probably damaged my eyesight forever. Got glitter all over the floor. But it was a good time. I'd do it again. I think if any other beauty gurus watched this, they would be quaking in their very expensive boots. Um, but yeah, I've enjoyed it. I think most of all, Norman would be proud of me. What do you think, Norman? So give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. I'd love to see some of you guys trying out my look. So you can give me a tweet if you, <laughs> if you give it a go. I wouldn't recommend it. There's so much glitter in my eyes. Um, I hope you're having a good day and I will see you very soon. I'm having a sale on all my Corgi merch at the moment. So if you want a Corgi hat or a jumper or a key ring, you can use the code BORK for 50% off uh, at the checkout. So if you want one of those, there is a link below. Goodbye.